Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh release from HPH models. As you can see that's another huge kit from Czech manufacturer and this time it copies SB2C4 uh, Helldiver, it's quite famous US aircraft. As you can see here we have this beautiful box art which is actually a painting by um, painter with surname Suhi and as you can see it's quite beautiful, I mean it would look nice on the wall so I wonder if there are any posters available with this picture. Nevertheless as you can see package is quite typical for this manufacturer so it's white cardboard box is quite huge here you can see comparison with my hand and that's top opening box of course here you can see everything what is hidden inside so of course there are plenty of different additions for this nice aircraft and we're gonna begin uh, with this, uh, let's say, Ziploc bag, which is dedicated to different thin elements for this aircraft. I can even see the paper file for P parts. It's quite an interesting solution. But give me a second, I will remove all those parts out of the plastic bag and we will check them closer. Okay. So here it is. First of all there is no assembly manual, there is a special CD with manual and also there you will find some reference photos. So that's quite a nice addition I would say for such big kit. Then we have metal parts and manufacturer here provides all necessary let's say tubes for this model. So we have metal barrels for machine guns as well as this special uh, part for the special part for the wing speed uh, tracker as you can see it should be yeah, bent in this special shape so it's quite nice to have it in the metal uh, next we have belts, belts are produced by uh, HGW these are their typical textile belts which are quite good addition for uh, 30 second scale kit I mean they will be noticeable once you add them to the kit. Then we have several uh, sheets with masks. Here you can see them. These are pre-cut masks and note that we have also some masks for symbols here. So it will be up to you if you want to paint them or apply decals but I guess you have to paint them because there are no decals for those elements. Then we have decals which are also made by HGW. Just give me a second, I will remove the protector film and we will check them closer. So here it is. These are also produced by HGW, as I said before. And these are their favorite uh, product, wet transfers. And here we have all necessary symbols for the cockpit, as well as stencils, main symbols and some white numbers. Here you can see them uh, with this dot border inside. And next we have quite big P fret, which is made by Edward as far as you can see. And here we have all PE parts which will be needed for this kit. So we have some interior parts, some exterior parts, those are obviously flaps. And all those parts will be installed on the airplane so there won't be any extra left. All those parts are designed for use with this particular model. And as you saw they were packed into the paper file. Uh, next we have special brochure about HPH models. Maybe you would like to buy something else. And then we have box with parts, as you can see parts are separated with special cardboard sections so that they won't fly around the box. And we are gonna start with large wings, just give me a second, as you can see wings are packed into this special bubble wrap. And also here we have the front cooling section. Okay. So wings should be assembled out of two halves each and they feature quite nice um, detailing, external detailing. So here for example you can see top parts 
and here you can take a look at Trivitin which is present here. It is quite pronounced but still I would rather advise to be careful with this detailing. I mean do not apply a thick layer of you know, primer or paint in order not to lose them under those mediums. And then note that on the lower wing half you will have to cut this special slot for the wheel wells because otherwise they will be closed and inside we just have the special spars which should ensure the proper rigidity of those parts and of course there are no position pins inside this is a resin kit and that's quite a typical feature for such kit so be ready to work with these parts and as I said here we have front cooling section which is also designed as one piece I mean it's also quite expectable from resin kit and as you can see still here we have different rivets, recessed panel lines everything looks fine you have to delete this base because otherwise it won't fit in the place but otherwise it seems like an easy process to do next we have another section it is also secured with ziplock bags and bubble wraps but here we have two plastic bags. One is dedicated to the missiles. I will show you on the one because of course they are absolutely identical. So here they are. These are typical resin missiles. So we have attachment point on the tail fin while nose is molded as a free segment let's say. So I guess they should be easy to separate from, from those bases and just look on those tail fins they're really thin, I mean they're almost translucent, so it should look good in 30 second scale. And then we have slightly bigger plastic bag. This one is dedicated to different elements. Here we have, I can see, vending gear wheels, some wing mechanization parts and other stuff. So, here it is. Let's check them one by one. First of all, here we have special part for the vending gear wheel wells. Next we have another spar which will be installed I guess in the wing in order to provide extra rigidity then here we have I'm not sure what this part will be used for maybe the middle section of the canopy this uh, special main block for the engine as you can see all cylinders will be attached to it and also here we have special points for easier installation so I hope they will be helpful during assembly process next we have two bombs bombs are actually there are three of them so three bombs they are molded in the same way as missiles which we saw before so it should be easy to work with them next we have landing gear wheels those are molded as one piece parts and I think there are war masks for these parts so no worries about painting process and they have quite nice tire thread but there is no walls detailing on any side so it's quite surprising I mean uh, there should be at least some writing on these tires especially in 30 second scale it will be noticeable propeller hub is molded like this one piece part then I will zoom in a bit so that you can see those wing mechanization parts or I would say they are molded separately but they won't be movable of course next we have tail wings tail wings are also designed as separate pieces but they are molded unlike wings as a one piece elements and the only thing you will attach here is uh, uh, elevators because elevators are molded separately and I will show them in a second so let's remove these parts here are the elevators also one piece parts, you won't have to glue any separate halves, we have recessed panel lines, rivet and everything looks fine and inside I don't see any special slots for the let's say wire which can be positioned inside next we have those special doors for the bomb bay these of course are detailed both outside and inside and as you can see they are really thin, they can be seen through the light and that's one of the advantages of the resin technology next we have another 
insert for the fuselage and of course separate rudder which is molded as a large part as a large one piece part let's say next we have plenty of different small parts and those are covering different areas so let's start with the first one mostly here you'll find the interior parts for example here you can see special circles for the interior then we have some special items for the equipment which is installed inside this part the plain one will be used for the dashboard as far as I can guess here we have some parts for the machine gunner place then we have those special rods and I'm not sure what they will be used for uh, those are parts for the engine as you can see they are molded separately and again molding quality is quite impressive I mean there is almost no flesh on tiny parts and if there is a flesh it is around the base so it's not a huge problem uh, then we have those nice parts again internal elements and the last small plastic bag is dedicated to those parts here you can see them okay so what's next? next we have another plastic bag this one is also concerned with external and internal elements and what we have here okay those are winding gear doors one two three and four of course so all those can be positioned as open and of course they are detailed both outside and inside next we have um, those should be front sweats but I can see only one and here is the second one so they are also quite thin as you can see and of course they will be placed on the wings for extra detailing then we have some parts for the external detailing again here you can see them uh, note that the landing gear legs have the metal parts inside you can see them barely here why? because model assembled model out of resin should be quite heavy so there should be heavy duty parts in order to tolerate such a load here we have one piece a seat for the cockpit next we have this special insert for the engine bay which looks quite nice of course you will have to cut this um, thin layer of the resin around but otherwise it should be easy to do it and then here we have more of the external elements and another cover, another external insert here these are molded nicely and then we have some of the engine parts here for example we can see ignition coil and also here some other elements which will be installed inside as you can see there are also some position elements which should be helpful while assembling this segment of the airplane because as usual engine should be quite detailed so you will have to dedicate plenty of time for assembly of one engine next we have more of the different parts for the engine here for example you can see some of the cylinder parts then we have separate exhausts exhausts have special pins for the proper placement and as you can see attachment point is actually in the inner section which won't be visible outside and the same can be said about another exhaust then we have separate propeller blades here you can see them you will have to install them in the, the propeller hub because um, otherwise it won't be possible to assemble the propeller so be careful with alignment here we have different handles for the cockpit next we have some minor elements for the inside de de detailing and what else here we have some cylinder heads here they are note that they are already separated from the base and they should be easily attached to the main block which we saw before here we have some exhaust ends 
and another part for the antenna as you can see again it has special metal rod inside for extra strength then here we have some parts for the engine bay again because here you can see special holders which will be fixing engine in the place those special spars will come handy for internal detailing as well here is another one and as you can see there is almost no flesh inside so they are pretty clean to let's say then we have here another internal part this one will be used for the landing gear wheel wheels and note that there is a special tube which is more than one piece part out of the box so it's quite nice to have such bonus and then this part will be used for the machine gun stand as far as you can guess next we have another plastic bag this one is full of thin elements different panels and as you can guess they will be used for the cockpit so just give me a second to remove them out of the box and we will check them one by one so of course as I said before here you can see some of these they will come handy for the cockpit detailing and of course they feature some thin parts which will have to be cut out of those elements be careful with them because as you can see some of them are pretty detailed I mean for example just look at this back wall for the pilot section and this is a cockpit floor all oh, they look nice and just will require some time to assemble here we have wheel hubs which can be painted separately and just inserted into the tire here special boxes for the inside detailing next we have pilot seat and also special frame which will be holding it here you can see them they are painted out of different color resin and they should look nice with textile belts which you saw in the beginning more walls then we have here the four I guess cockpit four parts and those minor parts will be used for the bombs and radiators outside these are bombs fins as you can see they are molded as one piece parts and last but not the least this panel with large parts for the internal sections of the wing as far as you can guess there are even special letters which point if it's left or right part then we have transparent parts they are also packed into the separate section they are fixed almost I mean unmovable so you don't have to worry about possible damage but the package is quite tight I mean this zip lock bag so be careful while removing these parts out of the plastic bag so just give me a second to carefully remove them and we will check them closer so here you can see one of the sections of course they are molded out of clear resin and you saw masks in the beginning of this video review so there won't be any problem with masking the only thing will be is to carefully separate them off those bases and install them into the place next we have another plastic bag with transparent parts here we have slightly bigger sections of the canopy so just give me a second and I will show them to you there is also a small surprise from the manufacturer but let's not jump this point so here we have the rear section of the canopy which is also molded as one piece part then we have middle parts here you can see them they feature nice riveting and they should look nice after you paint them of course and then quite nice surprise from this manufacturer because we have uh, clear parts, covered clear parts which should come handy for different elements on the airplane so as you can see red, blue, green and of course yellow is included here then we have another fuselage section which is molded as one piece part here next we have quite important parts and one of the last components in these kits is just give me a second fuselage halves as you can see here 
we have the right one. It is molded together with tail segment and note that here we have special flash segment which we will have to be cut off and then here you install different cockpit elements, transparent sections and other stuff. Note the inner detailing, I mean it's, it looks quite crazy and this is a detailing out of the box so you will get it straight away. And then we have another fuselage half. It is designed in the same way, again tail segment is in place and here you can see the inner detailing which is comparable to what we saw before. Of course there are no position pins whatsoever even though here we have special parts where you can insert plastic rods for proper position but still it will be uh, required to carefully align this house together. But otherwise detailing is quite nice, I mean recess panel lines and drive it and of course are present here so it will be up to you how you detail this model in the end. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to check detailed photos here in the comment section below. There should be a link for the review article. And of course, if you like this video and you want to support us, help us, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.